duckies, Andy Lip here, back with another Meme Monday, and this one's a nice simple one for you. You've probably seen it on channels such as Nutty, but you guys have been asking for it, so I've got it all sorted for you, but let's just do a barrel roll. Yeah, nice simple one, and it works both ways. Roll. Just do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. You know guys know what to do. Hit the like button if I ever helped you out. Press the subscribe button for future content and never miss a Meme Monday. Press the bell icon so you never miss it, all right? And if you wanted to, to catch this so yesterday, this video so last week, join us on Patreon, all right, guys? Put your right over the stone. Let's go. So I'm going to show you a few ways of getting this installed. I'm going to be showing the Leoran board method and touch portal. But first of all, we need to get OBS ready to install it. So uh, we need to make sure we've got the move transition plugin all installed. Exceldro made this another incredible plugin. You can check my video on how to get it all installed and working. And also press the subscribe button. The link's up here. The link's down there for the video. Check it out and get it all set up. Once that's all done, we can open up OBS then and uh, set up a few things in here. So we want your webcam on a scene. So I want you to imagine that this is my webcam. I just only have one webcam at the minute and we're gonna call this webcam name. It can be whatever your webcam's called, okay? I'm just doing it for this example so you can see what to replace text in Leoran board and touch portal to get it all working. So on your webcam, we're gonna right click it and we're gonna press transform and then press uh, edit transform and we're gonna make sure we change the positional alignment to center. That will probably move your webcam away. We will have to move it back into the center of the screen uh, and then we can press close. This just means anytime we move the, the webcam, it'll always move around that center point. So if we start rotating it, for instance, it'll move around the center rather than around the edges. Uh, next thing we need to do is set up the filters uh, for the move. So we're going to cl right click on the scene that the webcam's on and press filters and press the plus sign and go to move source. If that's not there, you've not installed the move transition uh, plugin properly. So go back to that video and check that out. Type in move source and we're going to call it, um, I'm going to call it meme do a barrel roll left. And I'm going to copy that because we're going to create one for going right. I know if you've used the move transition plugin before, you can do a reverse, but if you log out of OBS or close it or anything and it's not reversed, you can't reverse that movement. So I always like to have two filters set up if I want, if, um, want something to go forward and backwards. So first things first, we want to just make sure we leave everything, uh, press get transform and that's going to be our standard position. And then we're going to change the rotation just here to minus 360. So just type in minus 360. Uh, further down, I'm going to set it up to how I had in the example. So that's 3000 milliseconds uh, easing out and the cubic change that to quadratic for the easing function and then start trigger is enable and disable. That's everything that I had set up for that previously. So we're going to press plus sign again and repeat it for barrel roll right this time. So we're going to type in barrel roll right, press enter. And this time we can leave it on rotation zero because we want it to be in that normal position because it's already gone left. It wants to come back right again now. The duration back to 3000 milliseconds. Change the easing to easing out and also the uh, easing function to quadratic. Again, these are completely up to you. I'm going to press enable and disable on this as well. So now when we press do a barrel roll left, you'll notice it spins left with that quite nice um, easing effect and also do a barrel roll right as you can see just there. So that is all set up. One last thing to do is if you open up the files that I gave you, you see a do a barrel roll mp3, you're just going to drag and drop that into there as well. Uh, and you'll be able to see the audio levels for it here, which is one of them things. If you've got to the replay button just here, there when you press it, you can see it's really loud. We can just turn it down. Roughly to about minus 20, I think, is a nice spot for it, but it depends on your stream. And that is it. Let's get it all installed in Leoran board now. So let's get this installed into Leoran board. You should probably tell it's night time now. Uh, I missed a couple of recordings. Oh, busy, all right? Just get on with it. Sorry for the poor lighting. So we're going to get the configs X file just here. We're going to copy that and we're going to take it to the Board folder. So if you go to the Orange Board folder into the Orange Board receiver just here, you'll see a load of configs files just here. So you've got configs, configs one, two, three, four, and so on. We're going to paste it in there and we're going to rename the configs X. We're going to rename the X on there 
to the next available number, so mine is 5. For some reason, if you're not seeing any config files there, it might mean that Leon Board is struggling to write into its own folder. So you'll find them if you search for percent app data percent if I can uh, percent app data um, just there, and we're gonna go back a folder to app data, and then you'll see local and Leon Board, and you should have it in there. So once that's all copied in there, it's all ready to go. So let's open up the Leon board receiver and open up OBS, what we set up earlier, and press connect to OBS. That's going to link everything together. And now we're going to open the barrel roll um, page that I've created and do a barrel roll. It's one big, huge button. Right click, edit the commands, and we're just going to change the scene and source names to match what is going on in here. So your webcam scene, whatever you've called it, is there. And the source webcam name is to whatever your webcam is called. And do that for all the following source name that source name, the scene name, and the, um, so the source names there are the actual scene name itself, because if you remember, we put the filters on the scene name, so not on anything else. Once that's all done, just hit done, and then hit done again, and then we can open up the Stream Deck app, so the actual one that we can use to trigger the buttons. We're going to connect it now to our receiver, go to the do a barrel roll, press it and you'll see it do a barrel roll and you should see the audio as well pop up when it comes on like so if you wanted to change that into twitch channel point you just need to go back into the deck right click add twitch trigger and add whatever sort of trigger you want to use it for whether it's bits subs point redeem chat message whatever you want to do and add it like that right so last but not least we need to get it installed into touch portal so open up touch portal and click on one of the blank buttons we're going to right click it and use import button navigate to the folder that i gave you the do a barrel roll and you'll see do a barrel roll tpb double click on that and open that up it doesn't look fancy or anything but it just says do a barrel roll on it click into that open up OBS again and make sure that the webcam scene matches the the webcam scene name and the filter matches whatever you've typed in for the left barrel roll do the same for this section webcam scene name just in there and also the barrel roll for the right and then hit save you can change the look of the button if you want to I, I'm just gonna leave it blank for you and then we're just gonna press um, it on our iPad or whatever device you're using and then when we press do a barrel roll I'm just gonna move it out of the way and press do a barrel roll you'll see we start rotating press it again and we'll go backwards so the way that that works is using an if command it's not currently working for events just yet so you can't copy that across but Rumor has it, which is totally true, in 2.3, which is going to be out soonish. Hopefully, by the time this video is out, you'll be able to copy all this across by holding down control and clicking on them all. Right click, copy all actions, and you'll be able to paste them into events. But that's only going to be available in the next update in 2.3. So that's pretty much everything there is to it with the do a barrel roll. If you've enjoyed being Monday and you've got any requests of things that you want me to make or you've seen something, please let me know in the comments section below or jump in the Discord and share your ideas in there and I'll get it added to the list, okay? Make sure you, are, you do like the video if I have helped you out. Also subscribe and do what I can around these parts for you guys. Everything's for you and only 80, 89% of you are subscribed, so press the button, okay guys? Put your rug for the stone. See you soon. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make me make this content full time, make it free for you guys, and also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.